Hello. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Wednesday, February 12th tease another exciting day of drama for Days of Our Lives fans, with suspense, mysteries, and confrontations. In Prague, Princess Gina Van Amberg attempts to outwit Detective Rafe Hernandez, who, with Kate Roberts discovered the warehouse where she had been holding John Black, hostage. However, by the time they arrived to help John, Gina had disappeared, with Marlena Evans apparently in tow. Gina will play a game of cat and mouse with Rafe, but where is Marlena? Hopefully, she got away to return and help Kate with John. Meanwhile, back in Salem, Chad and Abigail Demera get locked inside Gina's lair after a confrontation between Chad and Stephen Odemera after they discovered him trying to choke the life out of Hattie Adams. Stefano had pulled a gun on Chad and Abigail and had threatened to kill Abigail and Chad charged at him, and in the process, Stefano is shot but escapes, locking the others inside the lair. Stephen O makes his way to Salem University Hospital, where he seeks help from Kayla Brady for his gunshot wound. This may be awkward, but Kayla as a medical professional swore to do no harm so she will treat his wound and help him out. He will tell her he's after Stefano, who shot him and ask her to keep her treatment of him for the gunshot quiet so as not to attract Stefano to the hospital. It will be awkward indeed for Kayla and more awkward for Stefano when he answers a question about something in Kayla and Steve's past incorrectly. After over a year, and one year of it in a coma, Jennifer Devereaux finally gets the rest of her memory back and recalls it was Hope who pushed her over the balcony of the bistro, on her wedding day. If her complete memory is back she should also recall that Hope was not herself and that she had discovered. Hope had been turned into Princess Gina by Dr. Wilhelm Rolf, which was undoubtedly revealed on Rolf's flash drive that the two women were struggling over after Jen popped it into a laptop that happened to be set up at the bistro. Probably with music programmed for what was supposed to be Eli Grant and Lanny Price's wedding reception, which she and Jack Devereaux and Justin and Adrian Kiriakis were going to use for their joint wedding reception after their joint wedding. After Eli offered it to them after Lanny dumped him at the altar after being blackmailed by Gabby Hernandez de Mera. Stay tuned to Days of Our Lives and keep checking Days of Our Lives spoilers frequently for all the latest news, updates and developments.